Quite often I'll find the perfect color ink for a project and then want to accent my image or around my greeting with brads or eyelets of the same color. But nothing looks worse than your brads or eyelets being off by just a shade or two. So today on Stamp TV, I'm going to show you how easy it is to color brads using ink and some embossing powder. Now not only will these brads perfectly match your ink, but they'll have a bit of a sheen that will make them look like more expensive glossy or glazed brads. Let me show you the tools and products you're going to need to do this technique. First, you're going to need some ink. And for this technique, I'm using the Colorbox Dye Ink. This is a new product that we're carrying at Gina K Designs. And this collection is called Pool Party. You're also going to need some embossing powder, and I'm using the Ranger Super Fine Detail Clear Powder. Then, I'm using some of the plain white brads from the new Vintage Chic Stamp TV kit. And I'm using a pair of jewelry pliers, but you can use any pliers from your toolbox, or you can even use a pair of tweezers if that's what you have. And you're going to need a heat tool. So to begin, I'm going to open up my powder, and I'm going to choose the ink that I want to use. And I'm going to use the red ink from the Pool Party collection. And then you want to grab hold of your brad, and this can also be done with eyelets. I'm only going to show you the brads today, but you do the same exact thing with the eyelets. You just grab them from the back. And then I'm going to tap the brad onto this red ink to cover it completely. Then, while that ink is wet, I'm just going to dip it into some clear embossing powder, change hands, and I'm going to heat that up. Now your first pass is going to look a little bit bumpy. And let's see if we can pick that up here. You might be able to see that. It has a little bit of a bumpy, grainy look to it. See when I turn it back and forth like that. Your second pass will smooth all of that out. So again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to tap a little bit more ink on top of that. And then, again, dip into the clear powder. And switch hands and emboss again. And once you emboss the second time, now you're going to notice how nice and shiny that is. Can you see how nice and shiny and smooth it is? And it's a nice solid color. You don't have any swirl of color or anything like that. Now you could go ahead at this point and add a second color or you can do some fancy dot work with maybe a Copic marker and then emboss it again. So you can create all different kinds of patterns and swirls and things. But if you just want your brads to match your ink and you want solid color brads, this is a great way to do it. Let me show you my finished card project. Here in my finished project, you can see that I've stamped this particular flower image from the new Vintage Chic Stamp TV kit using the same red ink from this little color box kit. And then I applied the matching brads in there, and you can see the ink and the brads perfectly coordinate. To create this background paper, I used one of the papers from the Vintage Chic Stamp TV kit, and I ran a little bit of pumice stone distress ink all over the surface of it and turned it gray. It used to be a gray and white piece, now it's a dark gray with a light gray background. And all of the other images, the greeting and ribbons and everything, are also from the new Vintage Chic Stamp TV kit. You can also try doing this technique with buttons and other white embellishments so that all of your accent pieces match perfectly.